Hi, people. I'm Stella. I'm 16 and I have a younger sister. Recently, I had to go to drastic measures to protect her health from our crazy mom. She could have been injured or even disabled without my help. And I want to tell you everything. Not so long ago, there was a big change in our family. The reason for this change was the divorce of my parents. And now my sister and I were torn between our mom and dad. The fact is, after the divorce, they both had custody of us. So we spent one week with my dad and another week with my mom. It was hard to get used to, but over time, I even found a lot of advantages in it. My mom now lived in a different neighborhood, and I made a lot of new friends there. Plus, after the divorce, my mother decided to start a completely new life. But still, she had picked up a bad habit from her old life. The fact is that she was a very anxious person, and she constantly found problems where there were none. It was mostly about health. Whenever my sister or I sneezed, my mother would take us to the hospital immediately and we would get a full examination. Yes, I understand that this is just caring, but it was too much. I could fight back against my mother's quirks. Plus, my father used to restrain her impulses, but when we were at mom's house, her hands were completely untied. The first time when I was really scared by my mom's actions was a few months ago. I came home from school and no one was there. It was a regular thing because my mom took Lily to dance class and spent time with her afterward. But at the time when they usually got back, they were still absent. So I decided to call my mom, but she didn't pick up and Lily's phone was off too. I thought that maybe they had stopped by the supermarket on the way home or maybe they just walked, but they didn't come back for a long time. I waited like Hachiko and didn't know what to do. Later that night, my mother finally called me and gave me the terrible news. Lily was in the hospital and she had been going through tests this whole time. I realized it was serious, so I got myself to the hospital as soon as possible. My mother was just crying and couldn't even explain to me what had happened. Then the doctor finally came out and gave us good news. Lily was all right and we could go home. I breathed a sigh of relief, but when I found out what was going on, I was surprised by mom's strange behavior. It turned out that my sister had gotten dizzy in dance class, and she even fell a couple of times. When my mom saw it, she rushed her to the hospital, suspecting that she had a brain tumor or something. But this was stupid because it was dancing. They were moving fast and spinning, damn it. And of course it's normal that she could get dizzy from rapid movements. And mom scared the hell out of me with this stupid overreaction. She was a grown woman and she could have figured out everything without all the drama. Ugh, that was tough. But at the end of the day, it was hard for me to be mad at her, considering what happened to me about five years ago. That winter, I was just having a snowball fight with friends in my hometown. Oh, it was a wonderful time. Flakes of snow, the laughter of friends, the smiles of parents. Everything was just fine, but I spent too much time outside and I caught a cold. I knew if my mom found out I wasn't feeling well, she would leave me at home and I wouldn't be able to have fun with my friends. So I hid my sniffles and pretended everything was fine. I shouldn't have done it though, because after a couple of days I got worse. I got a fever and I felt terribly weak. Other than that, I almost lost my voice because I had a sore throat and it hurt so bad. When my mother took me to the hospital, things were even worse. We started treatment immediately, but I lost too much time. I had tonsillitis and it caused complications in my kidneys, and I had problems much worse than just a sore throat. Then the treatment took a lot of time and money, and my parents were terribly worried about me. My mother felt guilty for not looking after me, and from that moment, she began to monitor our health very closely. At the slightest suspicion of a cold, my mother took me to the doctor. I have to say I've never been seriously ill since then, and when I did catch some flu, we could cure it very quickly because we started treatment from the very first day. But there is a downside to this motherly concern. She would overreact. Once I just twisted my leg and I limped for a couple of days, but I felt just fine. But it was a tragedy for my mother. She already imagined that I had some crazy fracture and that I might even lose a leg. It was just awful. Over time, it began to affect family relationships. My mother's anxiety was completely unjustified, and she and dad began to fight about our constant visits to the doctors. Dad said that her hyper care only harmed our health, and my mother, in response, just shouted that she was afraid of losing her kids. 
You see, they were both right, and so they stood their ground. Over the years, my mother's hypochondria only intensified, and my parents' fighting followed suit. In the end, my father could not stand it any longer, and my parents divorced. But instead of realizing that she was acting stupid, my mom just lost the man who held her back. And since then, my mom had the complete freedom to look for diseases that we didn't really have. And there was nothing we could do about it, because after all, she was just taking us for checkups. There was no harm in that. Of course, I'm an adult now, and I can easily fight back with my mother. She can't convince me that I'm sick with something, because I understand everything perfectly. But soon my younger sister became the object of my mother's crazy, overprotective care. I tried to shield her as best I could, but I couldn't be everywhere. I loved hanging out with my friends. I spent a lot of time with them, and I couldn't be around Lily all the time. I'm sorry about it now, because during my absence, my mother pulled another trick. On my birthday, I decided to go on a mini vacay with my friends. I'd only been gone for three days, but when I got back, I almost went crazy. When I came home, I was met by my mother and my sister. But the thing is, Lily was in a wheelchair. Oh my God, what happened while I was gone? But I should have guessed. My sister's knee hurt and the doctor ordered her to rest. My mom took the recommendation too literally and put Lily in a wheelchair. But she didn't do it just to satisfy her anxiety. I saw how the neighbors began to treat us with pity. And I realized that my mother enjoyed it. That's what she was really doing it for. Human pity fed mom like an energy vampire. I told my father everything, but again, mom wasn't breaking any laws, so we couldn't do anything about it. Worst of all, Lily didn't know what to do. She believed everything my mother said, and she not only believed, but she was also starting to feel these health problems that mom was imposing on her. I tried to convince my sister that she was okay, but my mom's influence was stronger, and soon she crossed the line where she could have made Lily disabled. We were just shopping at the mall, and at one point, Lily couldn't read the store sign in the distance. Naturally, my mother reacted in her own style, and the classic duel between me and my mother began. Ladies and gentlemen, in the right corner, a fighter who defends the adequacy and health of her sister. And in the left corner is a woman who is ready to injure her child to get pity from strangers. Fight! Yeah, that's about what happened. Despite the outcome of our argument, Mom took Lily to the eye doctor behind my back. As I learned later, they went around to a lot of doctors until they came across one that confirmed Mom's suspicions. Lily did different vision tests and she had poor eyesight, but the fact is that it was because her mother convinced her of it. It's called psychosomatic. She was sure she had problems and they really started happening. But my mother was not satisfied with the doctor's prescription glasses or lenses. Oh no, my mother insisted that Lily needed surgery to correct her vision. It was just crazy. Surgery for a healthy person? I should have prevented it. I tried to convince my mother in every way, but nothing worked. So my father and I took drastic measures. We just picked Lily up from school and went to his house without telling my mother about it. Oh, mom was furious when she found out. She screamed and threatened to call the police, but we were the ones who had to make the important calls. We called social services. Yes, yes, I know that taking a child from a mother is tough, but we couldn't let her hurt Lily, and this was our only chance to do it. It turns out that social services often encounters parents like this. So when we showed them Lily's medical records, which showed that she was about to have a surgery that she didn't need, they sided with us. Of course, we are not monsters, and we weren't going to take Lily away from mom. When dad got all the documents, and he became the only person who could make decisions about the fate of my sister, we went home to our mother for a serious talk. She was completely shattered, and I felt sorry for her. After all, she cared so much for us because she loved us. Dad was giving her another chance to live with her children in peace. Perhaps this will help my mother finally understand that she wasn't helping her daughter. On the contrary, she was hurting her. By the way, after a couple of weeks, all of Lily's vision problems magically disappeared and she was completely healthy. It was another confirmation that we had done the right thing. Do you think we made the right decision? Would you be able to take a step like this to help a loved one? Give your answer in the comments and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss other cool stories. Bye!